In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a parallax effect. This is really helpful for platformer games or any kind of games where you have side scrolling. So let's get into Unity and get started. So inside of Unity, I have just imported a layered background. I will leave a link in the description to where you can find these files. We're going to get started first to setting up with setting up the scene. So even though this is going to be a 2D game, we're going to be working in a 3D space to be able to do this parallax effect. So go to 3D object and create a quad. Perfect. So since we're we have the aspect 169, we're gonna go 169 size, center it, and we can make the camera's size a little bit smaller so it fits on the screen. Perfect. There we go. Now to be able to assign an image to the quad. We first have to create a material. So go to right click, create material. It's going to be called ground. In the shader, we have to set unlit transparent. And then we can, when we have the material selected, we can just grab on the layer and drop it the texture. There we go. Then we can just select the quad. And change the material to the ground perfect we're gonna copy duplicate this it's gonna be called hills or castle we're gonna do the same with this one there we go this is gonna be called ground duplicate castle find the material now we can see that this is showing up in front of the ground. This is due to the seed order. So like we said, we're working on 3D space. So if you click here, you can see that both elements are in the same seed position. So what we need to do is actually move the castle back. You can see when we move this, when we pull back from here, it starts showing and the value here starts to change. So the easiest thing to do is just leave the ground the first thing we want to see at zero then start putting everything behind that so just put this in one then we can duplicate this again call this hills hills all right put this here put this here and since it was 0, 1, do this 2. There we go. Name this hills. Sky. Sky. There we go. Here. It's going to be the last one, so let's put this in 10. And which one am I missing? So I'm missing the rocks. The clouds, two rocks, cloud. So the rocks are going to be that. So this is going to be two, two is three. The clouds, four. Three the materials, so rocks. We assign the rocks. We assign it here. We go last one clouds and the clouds then we put the material there perfect so now we have our scene set up and ready to be animated now that we have our scene set up let's get ready to animate this parallax effect to do that we're going to select the ground first go to add component bolt flow machine if you don't know how to install Vault, you can check out my previous video where I go through all of this. Let's create a new one. Call this Parallax. Edit the graph. Lock it here. Okay. So what are we going to do with this effect? So the idea of a Parallax effect is that each of the layers, go back to 2D since we already have that set up. Each of the layers is going to move at different speeds and create that parallax effect. 
So the things that are closest to the player are going to be moving faster than the things that are in the back, like the clouds and the rocks. To achieve that movement, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the material of each of these elements and change its offset so it scrolls. If we do this here in the editor, you can see that it starts repeating, but then the image like, gets broken. That happens because we go to the art, we select the image, the wrap mode is it's, it's set to clamp. So we need to actually get all of these. Wrap mode, repeat, and click apply. So now if we go back to the ground, and we change the offset, we can see that this repeats itself. So that's exactly what we want to do. Back in our flow graph, the first thing we need to do is grab the material so we can change this offset. So we're going to go to get component. We're going to grab the renderer. And from here, we're going to go to expose renderer so we can get all of the properties. And here we can see that it has, we go down here as a material. So that's exactly what we need for this. So once we have this, what we're going to do is to actually set the texture offset. So set this value. We're going to grab from here. Go set texture offset. Material set texture offset. Perfect. So it's going to have three parameters. The first one is the material, so we already know which one it is, it's this one. So let's connect this here. The second, the second parameter is the name, so this is always going to be underscore main x. And the value is how much we want to scroll it, so for now let's put this to 0 0.2. And let's see if this works as is. We can see nothing is happening that's because this this is a set value it's a hard-coded value so it's only if we go to ground and we open it here it's setting it correctly to 0 0.2 but this should be incremented so how do we get to do that we first need to add a new node there'll be a time node sorry so add unit time so in the time space time get so this is how much time elapsed since we started playing the game we're going to take this we're going to multiply it so multiply by our 0 0.2 and then this is the value that we're going sorry we first need to make it a vector 2 so vector 2 new vector 2 it's going to be the x perfect y we leave it at 0 and then we do this like that. Let's see what, how it looks now. Now we have the effect that we wanted to do. Perfect. So, if we, for example, grab this flow machine that we created, we can copy it, copy component, and let's go to the castle and paste it here. We're going to get the same effect on both. Yeah, perfect. But the issue with this is that we, like we said, for parallax to work correctly, they need to be moving at different speeds. So this 0 0.2 actually needs to be a variable, so we can change it between each of the layers. So let's go to Window, Variables. I'm going to top this here. So here I'm going to create an object variable. So let's create speed. Maybe we have type float. Okay. So we're going to copy this variable speed. Copy. Paste it in castle as well. So the things in the front, we want to be moving faster than the things on the back. So here, just to test, let's put a point 0.2 on the ground. A point one in the castle and the only the thing we need to do now is just get variable here we're gonna get uh, an object variable type speed we're just gonna connect it here 
now these two elements should be moving at different speeds. Test it out. Yep, that works correctly. So now what we only we only need to do now is just grab the flow machine, copy, paste it to the rest, go here, paste this new. Everyone will have the same machine. Then grab the variables, do the same thing, copy, and paste component values. Perfect. Now let's just set the correct values. So let's put ground 0.2, that's fine. This is 0.15. Fields 0.1, it's okay. Rocks, we'll get this a little bit smaller. So 0 0.075. The clouds, this is 0 0.5. In the sky, we don't want it to move, so we can just put this to zero, or we can actually just remove. Let's do that. Let's just remove this. We don't want the sky to be moving. Okay, so let's see how this looks now. And yeah, we have our parallax effect working. This is moving by itself because we're doing it in the update function, but you can easily tweak this to follow a player or a camera if you want to. So this is going to be it. Let me know in the comments if you want to see some follow-up or something else regarding this tutorial. I will also urge you to check my other videos. And if you like it, please subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks. Bye.